Hi, what's up? I'm Amanda Stenberg. I'm here today with Harper's Bazaar UK, and today you're gonna learn what you don't know about me. The three words that my friends would use to describe me would be a clown, a hooligan, and a fool. No. <laughs> Maybe um, spacey, loving, <laughs> and chaotic. <laughs> What makes me happiest in the world? Um, my community of friends and loved ones and being creative with them and feeling safe to be my truest and most authentic self with them and show all the way up and out and not be afraid to lean into new territory and explore who I am alongside them. What makes me angry? <laughs> <laughs> the structure of the world makes me very angry. <laughs> There's been a couple jobs that have really changed my life. Probably when um, I was 12 and I got to be in the Hunger Games. My life is probably on a completely different course because of that. It was really the first time that I felt like my wildest dreams were coming true. I was really lucky to experience that at such a young age. But I was such a massive fan, also, of the books. I was like a hardcore fan, like I had read them seven times, you know? So yeah, that was life-changing. Dear Evan Hansen is cathartic. <laughs> I think that audiences, and particularly young people, resonate with Dear Evan Hansen because it's about our universal human vulnerabilities and fallibilities and the mental illness that we struggle with, that so many of us struggle with, but that it's hard to be open about it. I've received a couple really great pieces of career advice. Um, one of them was always make your own tea when you're on set. It's not necessarily just about the tea, you know. It's about ensuring that you're remaining an autonomous person who was like taking care of your own needs while you're on set. And you don't need to be in spaces and places where people won't see you, get you, or understand you, or create the space for you that you actually need to fill. Oh my God, my strangest audition experience. Okay, well I used to do commercials when I was younger. I remember having an audition that said on, on, the, on the call that you had to learn how to rollerblade. I did not know how to rollerblade or roller skate, but you know, you do what you gotta do to get your foot in the door. And so my parents took me to this audition. I was probably about nine years old. When I got there, there were about 12 dogs. And they said, okay, cool. So we're gonna put you on these rollerblades. You have to skate down the street or the sidewalk with these 12 dogs in your hands. And this is like honestly just like a traumatic memory for me because I remember like attempting and failing so miserably at like holding these 12 dogs. I fell on my ass so many different times and I did not buck the commercial. And I still don't know how to rollerblade. I would love to play a role that really forced me to like train and dancing, because I love to dance, but I've never like had any training for it. So that would be so cool to just learn how to like pop and lock or something. The song that will always get me dancing, Gypsy Woman by Crystal Waters. I love the beat and it's the song that I like started learning how to Vogue to with my best friend who's a dancer. And so every time I hear it, doesn't matter where we are, at the club, at home, whatever, we just like start going off together, just being like, ya da dee, ya da da, ya da dee, ya da da. <laughs> My party trick. <sighs> My, <laughs> My face is really stretchy. You're like, cool. <laughs> the most romantic thing that anyone has ever done for me is actually when uh, we were filming Dear Evan Hansen. We were out in Atlanta and you know, we were quarantined. We had to keep our bubble really small and so we couldn't really see anyone else. But my girlfriend um, set this 
really cool walk up for me for my birthday where I took my phone and on each block, my phone would be triggered to play on an audio message from someone that I loved. It was Halloween, there were a lot of different decorations on people's lawns and stuff, and I took this long walk around the block, and like every 30 seconds or so, when I reached another point, I would get another birthday message or a song being sung by someone in my life that I love. The most luxurious thing I've ever bought myself is probably my car. Or at least like that's the most amount of money I've spent on one item. I'm like very frugal, like I, I hate spending money. So even buying a car was like a really big deal to me. The people that make me the most starstruck are usually like drag queens. I'm just so flabbergasted by their personas and lack of inhibition in terms of being themselves. So I would really freak out if like I met like Simone or got me. My all-time favorite movie? That's like, that's an impossible question, but I'll say what my favorite movie is right now, which is Magnolia, um, directed by uh, Paul Thomas Anderson. I think I'm kind of obsessed with the absurdity of life. <laughs> and so my favorite uh, art tends to be kind of absurdist. And Magnolia, really centers on the bizarre synchronicities that connect us together and fill in the colors of our lives and how bizarre it is to be here, yet here we are connected to each other. One superpower that I've always wanted is the ability to stop time just because things move too fast for me. Sometimes I'm like, I could use several additional hours to just stop things for a second and do what I need to do. The result that I probably want to make personally is releasing energy and time around things that don't service me. I want to focus more on what my heart is truly aligned with and spend more time with the people that I love and to really prioritize my family. I'm Amanda Sandberg. Thank you for joining us. And um, go check out Dear Evan Hansen. Uh, yeah, especially if you're going through something, you have kids who are going through something. Um, it's a great space to have a conversation about mental health and hopefully feel seen and heard.